This week's main ingredient is brought to you courtesy of Munoz Farms. Hey guys, this week I'm gonna teach you how I make my baked zucchini fries. Get ready, you're in for a treat. My name is Ramiro Ortiz and you're watching We Suck at Cooking. For this recipe, you're gonna need the following ingredients. A fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of seasoning salt. You can use regular salt, but I like to give my fries a little kick with some seasoning salt. A fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of olive oil, a cup of breadcrumbs. You can use store-bought breadcrumbs. I like to just toast some bread and grate it. Some grated Parmesan cheese. This is Kraft cheese. I'm using it because I'm told it's made without animal rennet. A perfect option for all of you vegetarians out there. I have two eggs here two large zucchinis. You can use three if they're smaller, but I'm gonna use two because these are huge. All right, guys, our first step is going to be to cut our zucchinis. I'm gonna start by cutting the thin part off, and then I'm gonna cut the rest of the zucchini into squares. So that's our thin part cut. We'll be using that later in an omelet. Our next step is going to be to cut our zucchini vertically into halves. Start by slowly sinking your knife, and as you get deep, you can start putting some pressure on it. And there you go. So as I said, I'm going to be making these squares. So what you're gonna do is put them vertically again and cut the thin side of the back. Slowly work your knife in and cut through. Now, we can cut our zucchini into thirds. So I'm getting some pretty long and thick fries here. If you find that that's the case, what you can do is cut them down a little bit. If you would like them this big, you can definitely go ahead and make them this big, but I would rather they be a little thinner and a little smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them. All right guys, and there you have it. Those are our cut zucchini right there. We're gonna put that to the side for a second. The rest of our zucchini, we're gonna put away. Definitely, we're gonna wanna use it in an omelet a little later on. So keep an eye out for that episode. All right guys, the first thing we're gonna do is mix our dry ingredients. So we're gonna start with our breadcrumbs, followed by our Parmesan cheese, our garlic powder, our seasoning salt, and finally, black pepper. Once all our ingredients are in the bowl, I'm just gonna give them a quick mix. You can do it with your hands, you can do it with a whisk or a spoon. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my hands. And I'm a mixer. Once we have it all mixed up, ready to go, we're simply going to put it on a plate, disperse it just a bit, make it a nice bed for our fries. Our next step is going to be to melt our butter and mix it with our eggs. So we're gonna take our butter, and we're simply going to put it into the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds, just so that it melts. How did I do it last time? Oh, time cook. No, it's done, it's done. With our butter melted, we're simply going to toss it into the bowl. There it is. And bring in our eggs. Simply crack the egg and into the bowl. We do the same with the next one, nothing to it. So we're gonna give it a quick whisk I like to start by busting the yolks. Just smash the yolks real quick. And now all you need to do is gently whisk it. Whisk, 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 whisk. Like Good, I like Jim Carrey. Our next step is going to be to take our whisk, egg, and butter mixture and put it into a plate. And then oil up our Pyrex pan with some olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and just rub it all over the Pyrex dish. Don't be afraid to get dirty when you're cooking. Just make sure your hands are clean. The soil is simply here to prevent the zucchini fries from sticking to the dish as they bake. Now that we have everything prepped, we're gonna start by simply taking our zucchini, dipping it in the egg, make sure to let the egg drain, then dipping it in bread. I like to roll mine, then back into the egg, let the egg drip off, then back into the bread. And at that point, they'll go straight into our Pyrex dish. And there you have it, our breaded zucchini fries. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and put them in the oven. We're gonna preheat our oven to 425 degrees, and we're gonna have them bake for about 20 to 30 minutes. We're gonna check in on them at about 10 minutes. When we notice that they're golden brown, they'll be ready to flip. 
We're gonna give them a quick flip and then we're gonna go ahead and bake them for another 10 to 15 minutes, checking in on them periodically. And when they're golden brown all over, we know they're ready. And there you have it, a plate of my baked zucchini fries. These came out just a little bit under breaded because I rushed them. In order to avoid that, you're gonna wanna make sure that you use just a little bit of your breading at a time, or you can make several batches of the breading. And as it disappears and gets soggy, you're gonna wanna replace it with fresh breading. They're still fantastic. They smell great, they look great. These pair phenomenally with a little bit of ranch for a nice little snack, but they also pair very well with any sandwich or burgers. They're a phenomenal treat at any time. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dig in and have our taste test. Mmm, crunchy on the outside, nice and juicy on the inside. Flavorful, nice, subtle, a little bit of a kick there. Let's try it with the ranch. The ranch is a perfect complement. So good. I'm gonna keep eating this and I'm gonna get back to you in just a second. These are phenomenal. Definitely one of my favorite dishes to make. All right guys, that's it for this episode. Go ahead and try this recipe at home and let us know what you thought of it in the comments. For more We Suck at Cooking, go ahead and click on the items on the right. We hope to see you in a future episode. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.